speed run, Deja. <laughs> Maybe not so much a speed run, because we're not going to abuse the glitches and stuff, but we're going to go through minimalistic playthrough. Even though I tried so much last <laughs> You're waking from a stupor that feels like a chronic headache after a, a week in Vegas. You sleep and find a tiny puncture on your arm. As the doctor injected you with medicine, then you realize you can't remember who you are. Two exclamation points. And your first thought is not that you were there not off a, like a vendor with drugs. No, it's a medical professional must have done this. You have no idea where you are and why you're here, you have no memory whatsoever. It's a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. Open the pocket. And we're going to take the shirt out. We're going to take the wallet. the lighter in my inventory. You can also use the lighter like um, I threw pretty much everything in the sewer but anything that's a document you can use the lighter on and burn it. Bucket of the coat or whatnot but we're also going to take the coat. Take the coat. There's nothing more handy than a 38 at your side. You can do that, um, instead we're going to, uh, you know, use the gun that we have to dispose of later. Um, Nothing unusual 
here because I have to lock the desk. How peculiar. And then we're gonna punch it. Actually, we're gonna move it, but that doesn't count for that. We just, you know, socko. Punch it. Move the bottle hole, wine rack slides and slides. Secret passageway revealed. Now a small room made of stone brick. You can go down into the sewer. Um, but if you come up from the back alley instead of the street from the sewer, um, you get mugged. Okay. We're in the casino now. Yeah, this guy has been a lot of shit going on. You your mind spinning. We're gonna save right here. We're going to use our coin. So we've got we've got seven coins. We need 18 um, without mistakes to complete this. Um, last time we won the sevens early on, and uh, that gave us way more than uh, enough. Watermelon. It will, it will never, um, to my knowledge, it won't, uh, like if you get the first two, you know the third one's going to be. And also if you have no coins, you can search the, like, the trays on them. And, uh, you'll always find one coin so you can keep trying. And you'll always pay at the last, um, last one. Okay, let's use our coins again. No. And also pressing these does nothing, it just has to go on its own. Use coin. Good luck that last playthrough. I didn't encounter the mugger, um, except for, like, just at the end, and, uh, going on, I go twice. Okay, last coin. I was gonna play this earlier, but then, uh, chapter. Um, 64 of, or Lesson 64 of Obey Me released. Okay. Hit Jack, we've got 14 coins. Okay, we're gonna save because we have more than the uh, start of it. But we're going to keep gambling until we have at least 18. Jackpot, you've got 12 coins. Okay. Yeah, um... Like, uh, move, so we're gonna leave now. We're gonna go do other stuff. Oh, I forgot about the elevator. Okay, um... We'll do the opposite way as we did last time, because it's just gonna save us some time. Um, like we did this last time. First time I did that, the stairs and stuff, but we're just gonna... Okay, top floor is the, like, medical room that we have to get evidence from. This is the office, this is the casino, and this is the sewer. Why the bar isn't included in that? I guess it's because it has to be hidden as the secret elevator. 
Anyway, we're going to go to the office. Oh, sorry. Use. This one seems the closest to TV, too, because of the pixel perfect clicking thing. Press the elevator starts moving. In the moment the, tele the elevator stops, the door opens. I didn't think I could see it from sitting down. Okay, move. Obviously, the elevator is using a secret means to get in and out of this office. Okay. It's the old black telephone core hangs looking from it. It doesn't seem to be anything unusual. Tom's clicking on him. The man who appears to be lacking something, namely light, but there are three, there are three bolt holes in it. Still gripping the receiver in the left hand. It's just a memory. It feels though you should be able to call who he is. I'll save the combination of get this is one of the key items in the game. Um, you have to take the capsules. Hmm, capsules, doctors put medicine in these for patients to take. Okay, medicine left in the capsule. It's all used for something. I have a hunch that there's a connection between you and the capsules. Uh, some versions it's called the syringe. Um, the capsules think they'll come in handy later. But yeah, you definitely have to have the capsules. And you gotta examine these. This false set of capsules will be able Use for apple, apple trimene on it. Sounds familiar, but I don't know why. I hate this one. And we're gonna take that. I don't know if you actually have to, but I'm just gonna make sure I have it. Okay, and we're going to now use the elevator. Oosh, the elevator door is slightly open. And we're going to go over the elevator. office and learn who we are. When the buttons press the elevator starts moving. And then moments the elevator stops and the door opens. Phone, telephone, just seem to be anything unusual, and then there's 
typewriter for literate people. We are going to open the desk. You don't really have to examine a lot. I, I just have a compulsion to uh, examine things in adventure games. Okay, now we got that. Go back to the main class page for fun. I'll examine it. So I stand at legal size envelope. We're going to open it. Open the envelope. And examine the bill. We need the bill. Um, it's not one of the key items. Key items are that letter I missed in the mailbox. Um, the memo from the Sternwood House and the uh, diary from Vickers Bungalow. And we're gonna take that. And, but we need to do this, um, read it at least, the bill. Uh, you don't really need to take it, but you need to read it at least because it gives you the address for where we're going to go next. Or uh, not next, we need one. We go to the next place Can't it move if it's not over. <clears throat> We're going to West End next. I'll call you from my voice. Oh, it's been not good today. Upstairs hall leading to the door. The walls are some posters of fighters. <coughs> There's lots of things that trigger my allergies. I'll examine. I like. I just like examining these because there's one. Um, the one over here is named Puff McMuffin. Not Chris Riley. Puff McMuffin. And then, like, oh shit, it looks like a poster puff. You! But then, you can't remember who you are. The name on me says Ace Harding. It doesn't bring it back. But yeah, um, I have no idea why, um, like, this side to... Is it because, like, where he's got the box of pictures? Was Ace involved in, like, boxing? I don't know. Okay, we are going to use... Oh, I didn't actually examine this one. Let's put key two is the front. No, that's not what I want. that, you know, I don't feel good. Um, that's because I didn't go that way first. Um, I say, even though this game, like, fucking forgets you have save files. Um, okay. Three. I'm going to open the manhole cover. Um, you don't have to, but I'm going to open it because when I'm in the sewer, when I get to the area that shows the manhole open, I know that that and the one inside the bar are safe, um, and the one that's closed is the alley one. Uh, anyways, Mercedes Benz, manhole, thing the city, uh, 
it's not you know, looking after that. Okay. don't want to start the car. You do not want to use the key of the car. You do not want to uh, try the hood. Um, and then blow off. Take everything. This is incriminating evidence. And we also will get an address. why we need to look at it to that. This is scoop map, the weight of Joe's bar is marked in ink, the address is 6050 Peoria Street. The writing on the map reads Ace Follows Route, that way you all know if you're being followed. Be careful, you will want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the truck. Mrs. Sternwood in the truck? What's going on? Um, yeah. Let's save again, because we might encounter the mugger when we step out of the car. are going to try to get that one. Oh, we got it on the first drop. I want to come out of nowhere so it's been a while. I just got out of prison. I wanted to pay our old friend Seagull a visit, but I only found his car out front. So I prepared a little surprise under the hood, something to even the score. I got a little surprise my first for you, too. And we're going to suck it off. Yeah, Ace Harding's an ex-boxer. He knows what he's doing. I like and the purse ball drops to the ground. Oh, yeah. Standing over the lady who just knocked out, you wouldn't advise staying here much longer. Like, if you do anything else, like you try to leave, you try to speak to her, you try to examine her, um, try to take her purse, she will shoot you. And it's like ending, and it's also a death trophy. Knocked out, you wouldn't advise staying here much longer. Right in front of the police station. Look, it's like you hit her pretty hard, she's out cold. Handbag. Anyway, we're going to take her stuff, the handbag, and we're going to take her gun. Just in case, um, you don't have to take it, um, but in the sewer, after you dispose of gun one, there's a chance you could encounter the alligator again, which is another random uh, death event. Twin dollar bill. Um, so it's always good to have a gun. getting distracted because of the cat staring at me, ready to pounce on the headset. Um, yeah, we'll just examine this. It's just a Saturday night special. All I've got it anywhere, and now we're going to move away. Not being kind of a little mucker again, I'm saying. Um, should show what it's like if you want a new gun. Yeah, the newsstand, you can buy a newspaper, it really doesn't matter, it just costs you money. Um, it makes, it's, it's like a red herring. It makes it sound like you want to take that newspaper down on the corner. But anyway, it's just our for sale, you're reading one without paying. You know, the nice boy will get mad. But yeah, if you speak to him, he's like, yeah, you want to, if you want one, you can order for it. I'll take far right one on the bottom. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be like a, you know, a clue, but it, it's not. Oh, that's an ammo. Um, yeah, I'm going to save and I'll go in and show what buying a gun is, because we have two $20 bills, it doesn't really matter. Um, Sam and things. There's nothing in the waste basket. So it's got the ammo. It's not really anything unusual. Um, I'm reminded of uh, in Bloodlines, Bear for the Masquerade Bloodlines, I got stuck in the door to uh, Trips 
place and I had to reload a safe from earlier once. Hi, Pete's on a gun palace. The guy behind the counter says, you want something? bullets and I think they're a quarter each. But anyway, this is if you need another gun. I don't really need one. Um, uh, but if you want to buy a gun, you just use your 20. One of the 20s on them. Now, there's a uh, blue cab, which costs you money every time, and if you don't pay, uh, he'll call the cops on you. And if you go over left again, there's a yellow cab, and you can get away with not paying once. Um, a lot of guides will recommend using the yellow cab, but you get 25 coins, and for each trip, we only need 75 cents, so... worry about that. Okay, and we will just examine he's nervous, he's you know he's on edge. The other guy, if you examine him, he says he's a, looks like a nice guy. Um anyway we're going to talk to him. Hey mister, where do you wanna go? We're gonna go to West End. Cab accelerates. As you arrive at your destination he looks at me and says, here you are, you owe me 75 cents. And then you will use your coins. You like to use his own, and you'll pay here, and you'll put in three quarters. That's kind of fair. One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. He's not going to be he will. He's too rough to be on the show. So I'm interested to look at his death drives. Okay. I'll examine this again. Waiting for that. Did I examine the card again? I can't remember if I did the right here. But anyway, I'll, I'll just examine it to show what it is. Um, it's a key. It's like a punch card for the elevator. So that's why it was important to take it. Find an address. Five to twenty Kedzies in Chicago, and that's what we need because we needed that for the address. Um, we're not going to take it. Um, I think it's just something I will have to dispose of later. And it's better if they find it in his apartment. Um, but yeah, like, there's nothing else in here. As long as we got the uh, address. We want to go to Kenzie, our new address. 
actually will be going to the Sherman um, later. So it's a driving destination of the meter says here you're only 75 cents. We need a um, key from uh, I wonder if you can go so far that you even have to do the build. Now I'm gonna save again. You know, as we learned with this port, it fucking does not give a shit about the safe files. Now we're in the bungalow, the garden has grown wild. We have to use gun number one three times. Right? And we used on the door. Pull the gun. Get the head and pull the trigger. Blam. But yeah, we have to use it three times. Um, yeah, there's the military car, cheap perfumes, so you know this is. One's not needed, um, but I have a feeling it's the one under me, so you have to take both anyway. Three numbers on it. I have no idea which is which, but you need it to, uh, on the desk, and we will take both of those, actually. We need, the diary is also another key evidence piece. Again, I told him to get lost. I can't stand his jealousy. I have an eye on John Sternwood. Even if he's married, he's anything I ask for. I can't get him a divorce so wife. I can really live a good life. Yeah, I don't have to take a But anyway, we got the diary. Uh, the other two pieces are a park cab waiting here. Let's see. You don't want to go up the stairs first. Uh, that's a, also another death ending. Um, which I don't know if it is quite yet. Like you actually have to open the door to get the death ending. But anyway, um, to avoid that you gotta go this way anyway. And I have no idea why we're in the same office building as Dr. Brody. Um, this will make more sense later. <laughs> 
Oh, it must be locked. Um, yeah, use key five. Which I also don't know why it's the same key for this one and the one upstairs. combinations. Uh, one you would assume would be the combination to the safe back at the bar, and one you would assume would be for this, but it's not. <sighs> but you have to use gun number one. It's hurting, so that's bigger, stronger, to quit smoking. Price is falling out, written by the doctor. The surgery mother says she wants to order to go to Joe's bar. We actually should take that too. Not need it, but it's just more, you know. We're in the mindset, we might as well take it. That's a patient medical record, it's both fainting, stomach pains, feverish vomitings, a high fever coughing, no appetite, headaches, so it's Number four is one that I took because I forget um, festive names. Um, yeah, it's the medicine's name and its effect. It's just what everything we just grab bagged off the shelf. Why we need it, the, um, I want to make sure that it is Medic 6. Yep, okay. Uh, we are going to use Medic 6 on the capsules. That's how we're going to take it. Um, which makes less sense if it's an injectable medication, but, like, other versions of syringe. Our sodium, the capsule. And we're going to use capsules on the cell. Those are by sodium. Start rolling in. This one's from your childhood. His father O'Malley from the the mill boarding school. I feel your memory slowly returning. Uh, or actually, you can actually speak to yourself too. Talking to yourself might be fun, but isn't very helpful. But like, you could have drank the seltzer at the bar. Um, there's other things you can use on yourself. It's usually easier to start with the medic page and then go to capsule because it doesn't, uh, you don't have to go skip around so much. Another memory suddenly hits you as the medicine takes effect. back. It's Taco, your pet dog, saying, Wolf Taco, want to play? Taco sent you to the hospital for stitches. Oh, this 
single thought that you remember has almost returned. Susie Q, the girl next door. Susie Q gave you your first kiss. Suddenly you feel great. You now realize who you are. Ace Hardy, that's it. You're Ace Hardy. Five it off. what it expects you to get, um, there's, uh, that, uh, like a bum drunk that you can encounter on the street from Joe's bar that will tell you he has information for you, um, if you give him 50 cents, um, so that's why it kind of makes more sense to encounter him, but where he's a random encounter, it doesn't matter. So in front of an office, the words is hurting, private eye around the door. Could this possibly be your office? You see someone shout out through the glass. But yeah, um, we're gonna shoot him. Uh, cause we have, um, like if you encounter that one that like, tips you off, he'll tell you that, um, or you, you know, you have a hitman note on you now. Um, because, uh, things didn't go as they should. <laughs> You get told that someone's waiting for you in your office to kill you. is something that you have to get rid of. Um, got the wealthy woman's liver to me. I'll collect the ransom while you get it. Stated. You bungle it, I'll take, you, it'll take the wrath. You get everything planned so that nothing will lead to me. This is the only offer you'll ever get. So decide, call you no know food. We need that. Uh, I don't remember what this one says. As far as sugar shack, you don't have hatred for some. I think that's true. See, Joey Siegel did, uh, uh, that woman was Sugar Shack, by the way. The father of Sugar Shack was a black man in the Elder case. She was doing five years. Okay. What we're going to show now is we're going to take the lighter that we took earlier. We'll show that you can destroy it, um, Five of the by the lighter. Burned to ashes. Um, uh, there's an ammo case here. Um, if you bought the gun, um, like if you need extra bullets for gun one, like let's say you encountered the alligator and shot him, and then you didn't have an extra 38. This is what you'd get in the ammo case. But I don't need it.
last um, I want to save. Actually, I want to save for not that long ago. No. Yeah. So your eyes water. The following words are both I gotta scoop something to save your life. It's worth 50 cents to you. Um, we'll use it. You don't have to. It's possible to go through the whole game, but. Joey's Hitman has been looking for you. I got the word that he's waiting in your office. That's like what you're supposed to do to be like, you know. That's why you were, you know, expected to shoot. bugger on the way. He wants all your money. Might be wise to give it to him. Nope, buddy. Sako. Sako. A quick jab to the mugger's eye stuns him. He runs down the street shouting, I'll be back. You're standing on the street in front of the bar. It's also possible as soon as you leave to encounter the mugger again. Take me home, please take me home. 
626 Auburn Road, take me there. She stops talking, calling back to complete unconsciousness. And that's where you get your last address. Uh, we're going to save. Because there's a chance with the mugger. Like, we, we technically can probably do this without encountering him, but we have a two shot, like, more chance of hitting, like, encountering him. You can only encounter him three times before you actually have to give him your money. So. what we forgot our first playthrough I did I second playthrough I forgot to open the mailbox and take um, this envelope and take the letter from it because the letter is important the letter is the ransom letter um, well I accept the name Mr. Stern would paste it in newspaper cards wonder if it was shoved in there or if it was uh, delivered by mail. Level two. Like who is like what mail killer is going to be like? This looks like a ransom mail. I should take it right to the person. Person not read a stern when you have your wife you have 24 hours to collect 20,000. Contact the police is dead. You stand in corner of Corey and Elm exactly 12 midnight. By the ransom in a briefcase you'll be contacted with further instructions. I'm gonna take that out just because I'm not sure if it counts if something's still in the envelope. The door is locked, so you wrap the knocker. And you get Jeeves, buddy, here. It's like someone from Man Maniac Mansion. Um, anyone in the house on now? Especially at Master State Fellows. We have no time for this, buddy. What lies an unconscious heap? Uh, like, we're gonna go in here, um, just because there's an extra memory cutscene. Um, I don't know if I'm saying or not. It's quite clean. Uh, and that's just what you'll do if you don't stop wasting time. Other memory waves from your child that comes through its mother. She's baked a cake. Maybe it's your birthday or some other occasion. Yeah, we can stay here for just my remains. Um, but yeah, we're else where you can take stuff, but it's like, why the fuck take stuff? Doesn't count as evidence against you. Anyway, we're gonna go. Like, either one, it doesn't really matter. perfume in the air. Must be a guest room. There is a woman sleeping in bed. Yeah. And you can tell uh, where Sternwood's loyalties lied and concerned with his wife. She will look her. You've probably seen her before. Stand with drawers. Um, yeah, that's Martha Vickers. I don't know. doesn't work. Uh, glasses are too big for you. Um, memo is also another key evidence. You need the memo, letter one, and the diary. Uh, the memo, like 
had was a top shield pad of several indentations on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the memo. Oh, no, we have to do the select the item first. We're going to use the pencil with the memo, like, you know, old detective style, like, what are you doing in school, like, um, it's like the wrong thing. Anyway, um, just to get the indentations. You don't really have to, um, it just counts if you have the memo. Kind of probably shouldn't be tampering with evidence. But we're, we're doing it. We're at a time when it only costs 75 cents to travel across the city of Chicago. My cab. Have this is situated. Pretty much wait till the bar is closed. Have Miss Sturmwood in the women's stall, make sure she's found unconscious. You're waiting at the bar front door for Ace's arrival. Put Ace in the stall, make sure he's unconscious, inject him with the memory loss drug, take his gun and stuff, wait for Seagull. Get Seagull behind his desk, then plug in Ace's gun, get Seagull's car keys, plant Seagull's things on Ace, put Ace's gun back, for sure his fingerprints are on it. Dump big misses in Seagull's car, put stuff in the glove box, put car in Ace's car key in Ace's coat. The other key is safe. Leave bar and lock up. Be sure not to leave ransom case behind. On the way home, plant a single letter and Ace's phone. What a setup. If you don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. Boy, this is a nightmare. You'll have to get complete proof of innocence to the cops. Okay. Yeah, that's Martha Vickers. Um. I might have just missed looking at something. But yeah, I, you can tell what he used his ransom money on. In the master bedroom, there's a man sleeping in the bed. Mr. Stern would have had a nice sleep. I thought you recall having carried a while ago. So we're going to take the ransom case. It's probably got my prints all over it. And we're going to take envelope three. You can also take the candy box um, and keep the chocolate in it. Um, like, and we get the, you know, the classic put your lips together and blow. Like again, this stuff isn't stuff you need, um, but I'm going to dump briefcase in the sewer, and I'm going to, um, uh, this will be more, just slightly more evidence. It's like a standard legal size envelope, envelope 3, examine letter 2, letter that says, Sternwood, this is my final warning. Keep your hands off Vickers, or your wife gets the story. I don't think she'll look upon you so favorably in her will after that. Since your Vickers belongs to me, you can pay me for her if you want her that bad. She'll cost you 20 grand. So pretty much... You have, um... Arrive at your destination, he looks at me and says, 
here you are, you owe me 75 cents. something and never see it again. Okay. Time to throw stuff in the good at directions. Um, one of these is the sewer, one of these is the basement. Punched out someone. Um, and there's a mugger running around. Okay. Um, it will look like it's the bad end at first, regardless if you get the good end. So just be mindful of that. So that we set it. Car tribune, ace player's name, hand to the police. Evidence you brought to them proves to be interesting. Courtroom where you wind up during the trial of kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joey Sigal. Three bits of evidence proved valuable. A diary from Mrs. Vickers' bungalow. 
a blackmail letter, and a timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint a picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Miss Sternwood and Seagull and to make you take the fall. Four. The diary and the blackmail letter provided the motive for such action. The timetable indicated how they did it. Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand, the weight of evidence, and the skilled tactics of your lawyer made Vickers commit to the crime. Way to go, Ace. And no one mentioned the dead body in your office. Ace Harding School Investigation certifies blank. A fully qualified private investigator with full privileges and honors. I like how um, we get the honors with you this time. And it's signed by Ace Harding. Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Case drew national interest. Your name is seen on every paper in the country. Who could have asked for anything more? Ace Harry the moniker, once a boxer, now a private eye. Yeah, there's a sequel. Um, it starts off mostly the same. What I liked, it had like the old um, uh, like Lucas Arts uh, Sierra thing, where if you don't take your clothes uh, and you go in the hallway, you get kicked out of the hotel and you can't examine anything. <laughs> Um, not a private eye. He lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. Sounds really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing happened. A crime will never cease here. Ah, uh, there's one guide, um, it's like Walkthrough King. It's full of false crap. And it misses things. And it's incomplete. Um, and I think it's what was one of the first Google results, because I... When I got to the end last night, I couldn't figure out what I was missing, why I wasn't getting the cleared ending, as because I forgot the uh, mailbox. There's a crime will never cease here. Something is next to the at this moment. And, you know, like the whole shadow, like, the shadow knows what. Ace Harding's my moniker, the next page is just around the corner. I wonder how many times it The end. And that's the end of that. I'll let the credits roll to the end this video. Um, the, uh, there's two other games on this. Um, again, there's four Mac Venture games, and the only one that's missing on this collection is the uh, Ace Harding 2. Um, but again, I don't think it was really console portable, um, the version that is on Steam, which is what these ones are. Apparently Shadowgate's really changed from the original and the remake for this. Um, like the original games are in black and white. Uh, they're in black games. Um, yeah, they're all available on Steam, I just bought the Mac Venture Collection, um, so I can play Ace Hardy 2 at a later time. Um, like, I think I paid seven something for it Canadian. Um, so, it's really cheap, but you can't add it to your wish list. Like, you can't add the whole collection to your wish list. You have to add individual games. Um, so, yeah, two more might play them some other time, but I have.